questioning everything with Garrett and Adam. You'd What's be like, that documentary? Uh, we where should invade next with Michael Moore, where he goes over to the UK, mm-hmm. goes all over all over the place mm-hmm. um, in Europe, and goes to these factories where these owners, like even Ducati, man, where they build the bikes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the documentary? No. You should watch it, where it talks a lot about where they go to these cu- these cu- these f- factories where they're building the Ducati, mm-hmm. and the owners are making less profit giving more to their employees that's cool hold on yeah more hours more, uh, longer breaks more holiday pay happier employees happier people uh-huh and the guy who owns the Ducati uh-huh. fucking franchise still l- living it up and a capitalist would say that's great he's actually going to fuck your capitalism. he's going to no it's your capitalism too dude but there's he's a level going of- to take all the best employees because he has the best package for them right so if you're a person who makes cars and you're the best you're gonna work for him because he pays the best right right it's a whole now the difference between us is i think that he's got a great model in order to stay competitive in the employee industry he yeah, is where people keep stay his employees. and work you keep your employees right you're like the industry i work in but you is can't like such say a door. that that's the way everybody should do it because we're not commies Oh God! Right. So I'm saying part commie, part <laughs> capitalist. There's no and such I had thing. this argue with one of my bosses. I don't know if Angus will ever listen to this, but he was saying there's he was no with you thing. on this. I was like, "What about the like?" There's a level where money should be, and he disagreed too. He's like, well, "Once was, you start telling people what to do, I'm not. There's saying nobody that. left to tell. They all just disappear. Yeah, but it's, like it's not working. What every about single socialist nation who thinks, you know what? We should be the ones in charge. We should be the ones Much benefiting. Richer. We should be the ones profiting. We should be the factory owners." We should be all these greedy bourgeois that are that are controlling us and and landowners r- robbing us and we should be the ones and the and the government's like we'll do it we'll give it all back to you and they're like yeah and then the next second not all, not all. Nike's pulling out Goodyear's pulling out yeah well because Apple's dicks. Pull- no they're not dicks dude it's because they've worked hard not only for their physical property but for their intellectual property they've built factories from the ground up that nobody else built on the backs of freaking not on the backs of labor no not on the backs of anybody they've actually improved villages by providing jobs okay well i right this is a rabbit hole people want jobs right yeah and they still pay them really low so that's the other thing is communists believe that everybody should be everybody should be working that the government's job should be to give everybody a job, but they also have ideological ideas that prevent business from wanting to be there. So jobs actually go away because once you indicate that somebody who has possessions will no longer have those possessions because there's an idea that's more I'm important not even than saying, possessions. I'm saying taking away a little bit of the possession. Not all. You can still live on your fucking giant pile of money. Once you can take away any of it that's fucked then, then, then all it takes is four more years and somebody else will get into power that has a different value system than you and now they take away more because you've given them the opportunity to take away anything this i'm is not about, saying this okay, is about there principles. have to be regulated okay i get it and but i still we're and you know and i'm there still just i'm still just here fighting for my mom's two dollars an hour because she busts her ass in a job no i appreciate it you know I what i mean and it. i still think well i still think there's there's some wiggle room there i should probably really Really educate myself to the point, like to your level of understanding. But I do truly believe that there would still be a, a world where we could meet halfway. With There's everything. no world that you can well, not decide. Now. In a world no, no, no. Corporate There's no greed. world. And it's not corporate greed, dude. It's how like it's so childish, honestly to God. Like you literally would not have a goddamn thing were it not for corporations providing it to you. I they're literally that. giving everything to you. They're prov- they're because they profit from it. The grocery stores are full because they profit for it. But if they weren't full, you would be the main person who suffers. I understand so would I, that. So would everybody else. We would be the people who suffered if profit incentive did not exist. So you think? So you don't <laughs> think that there's margins there where these think, titans no. can make their profits? Nope. And the little people can still also have a little bit more. I'm not even saying nope. half. I'm saying, hey, man, give that minimum wage person a little more and the big motivated there's dude means, can keep going. Man. There's means by which to try to get that. And you can ask for a raise. 
Um, in the case of they're unionized in that case, so the union can try to fight for more. And then now you've got actual people with data who can sit down and go, okay, well, here's the numbers. Look at the, how much the store makes, right? Like the fact that Jimmy Patterson owns 900 things and makes a lot of money is inconsequential because it's not part of the system. That's a really naive way of looking at how the system even works. To think that somebody should be giving back or something, again, I'm brutally just, naive. I'm just saying I think- I'm We are lucky that they're there providing us ramen noodles. Otherwise, we wouldn't have them. Or they would be $8 a pack, right? The minute that- $8 the minute, a pack. What no, about gasping The $1. minute 50, that we like, are like, Nobody should be allowed to make this much money. Nobody should be allowed to. Here's the regulations. That's not really what I'm saying, though. The minute that we, the minute that we put a single regulation on profit, then you're saying it sets the precedent, and we're everybody will fucking jet because <sighs> nobody wants to deal with that. Especially nobody wants to take their chances with the types of loose cannons know, who don't realize the value of private property. Who do you agree with? If anyone's listed this far, I am now really interested. And what do you what 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 <laughs> what, what what are you leading here? Like, I, I help me understand better here. Uh, you know, if you are listening this far, and I want to know who, who's who's got a who's got a good point. Do I have a good point? Is Adam have a good point? You don't have a point though. My you haven't point made a point. Is, is that we I'm could, making a point, and you're talking about a, an illusion. My illusion is I get up in the morning. Yeah, I got to pay a dollar fifty for gas. My okay. insurance is however much that is. Food is however much that is. Rent is fucking astronomical. Okay. Taxes, this and that. To go out and make a fair wage and then come home and try to feed your kids, try to freaking pay all your bills, all your, there's just, you're, gr you're living paycheck to paycheck, uh -huh. you're in the grind, yep. and, there, and it seems like the system is built in such a way that we are just cogs in the wheel, and we which should Which is true. Which is super, okay, and we should- I don't and, deny it. And you're just, there's no room to do much. Like, unless you're insanely motivated and just go live in a box, maybe to uh -huh. try to save money, like my buddy uh -huh. does. That's no, it's but that's that's true. I don't disagree you know what I mean? with like, any of that. It's, I'm not saying, yo, dude, I understand what you're saying. Like, yes, but we should opportunity, not everyone should get a participation badge. Roger that. That's not what I'm saying at all either. I'm saying that you're talking about I'm not extremely I, dangerous ideologies, and you're and you're thinking thinking that somehow the world, it's all the world owes you something. I don't think, the, yo, 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 I don't think the world owes it's, me that. I'm one of the most no, motivated no. people I know. I'm okay I'm with saying that the root of it, the root of it, like the, why can't these billionaires throw in an extra $2 an hour? Yeah. For what? Like, again, that's how, so does, that, how does that not equate to the world owing you something? It's just, it's, it's not only my mom gets up super early, busts her ass, puts up with let's, fucking okay, let's, horrible let's people. Remove it. Let's that remove probably it. Make, let's remove it from your mom because okay. a lot of people do. Right? right. A lot of people what? A lot of people make uh, uh, what we would consider to be uh, not a high wage, right? Anything under $15 an hour for an adult is not a high wage. And how you can't live in fucking where we are right now yeah. for $15 an hour. You can though. How? I don't know. People do it. You don't have much. No, but people do it. I know they do, but that's tough. It is tough. I Real know. tough. They I don't know. have a nice mom. They don't like. They don't have cable. Probably they don't drive. Nope. But the world never owes you that either. Okay, the so world doesn't owe you any of that shit. That. I know. The that resting point of the world is that you wake up, you're cold, and then you start starving. And so literally, you got to go out and achieve. No, literally though, they, we we're not owed apartments. We're not owed house. We wake up in the cold and we're hungry. That's have the reality you of life. Zeitgeist, man. Of course, I have. What did but you think of that? I have no idea how that relates to this at all. Well, because it just talks about you wake up in the cold and you're hungry. That's the reality. Nobody owes you food. Nobody owes you shelter. So let's you go learn, back to that then. You learn how to make Fuck a shelter. This shit. But that's what this is. This is just a complicated version. You learn how to make a <laughs> yeah. shelter. You learn how to c f gather food or kill the food. Yes. And that's what this is, except for this is a complicated version of it. Yeah, but no one's telling me that I have to go. Like in that world, though, there's not some dude that's got the fucking monopoly. He's no, got a monopoly a, on the fucking deer, man. Yeah, there is. And he fucking kills you. In fact, you he comes up from behind you as you're skinning the deer and he kills you and takes the deer. And there's nobody that can stop him. <sighs> right? Well, that's an uncivilized world. We live sure. in the civilized, quotation mark, world, sure. brother. Yeah, I know. Where people are fortunate enough to have a job. 
right? Well, so now we're fortunate enough to have I know a job. What you're, you're talking in the name of in, in order name of in order to be fortunate enough to have a dollar seventy nine shampoo and a dollar twenty five bowl noodles and a three dollars and twenty five cent bread. And in order to keep all of our groceries low enough so that more people in our society can eat, the people who work at grocery stores also don't make a very good wage. If well, they all made an extra two dollars, we can say like that. that the people on top are going to take a hit. What's actually probably going to happen is the people on the bottom are going to take a hit because that's the way things work. Is that the profit is if they don't make enough profit, they're just going to shut the doors, and now everybody starves. I'm just saying. So they're going to make enough profit to keep the doors open, in which case either you have a well-paid employee or you have a reasonably priced the bottle Walmarts, of Walmarts, the fucking superstores, the save, like the big what I'm talking about. corporations, well, like the little guys. Yep. Do you know that without those big corporations, a bottle of Kraft Dinner would probably be three ninety nine. They've actually brought the, the cost of Kraft Dinner down to like just over a buck because they compete with each other. They, they compete on a mass scale. So rather than a store who has the guys got bills to pay and everything like that, these are like gigantic franchises that they all get to kind of split the overhead, right? And they buy a million boxes of KD for a few pennies less per box. And then they start competing with each other. Now it's like, well, I'm a buck 25. Well, I'm a buck 16. Next thing you know, it's a buck. And they, they're competing with each other to get the price as low as possible. They're making like a half a cent per box, but because they sell a billion boxes, they can do it. And as a result, more Canadians eat. It's mm. crazy. It's crazy. They're corporate greed. Advertisement loading. Do you know who the real champions are, Garrett? No, Adam. Tell me. They're the champions on Patreon. We have a Patreon? We have a Patreon. Cool. Link in the description. And if you'd like, you can, for $5 per month, be a champion. And you champion the cause by supporting the Question Everything podcast. Questioning Everything podcast with a monthly life. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> By Roger rotation. And then what does 1350 get me, Adam? 1350 gets me uh, happy starting. All right. I also have $35 burning a hole in my pocket. Adam, what does that get me? Uh, $35 gets you um, uh, show more. Show more. And cut. You know, not to ask that.